When given the task of designing a nozzle, at first we were out of our depth. We sat down and began brainstorming and sketching, and were able to come up with what we thought would be a good nozzle. Whatever works, we said. But when our colleague returned with the printed design, it was incorrect. We were back at square one, and we didn't know where to go. Then, through what we can only conclude was divine intervention, one of us was overcome with an idea and scribbled a brand new design on the board. Somehow, he didn't know where the design originated, only that it was beyond himself, and when crafted, would be rivaled by no other nozzle. So we sent our colleague back to the lab to create the nozzle, and then he returned. Well, this is how we know it was faded and not just a mere accident. The nozzle, by all intuition, was absurdly wrong. It was simply too big, and the hole where the hose seemed to go was horribly minute. In our ignorance, no, our arrogance, we were this close to discounting this design and moving on with our lives in defeat. But then, the unimaginable happened. Reverse eology was born. Since then, we've realized our calling as the prophets and protectors of sacred reverse eology. Our lives have been devoted to the art, but not all of us revere the power as we should. One of us has taken this power into his own hands and distorted reverse eology, defiling the power for his own purposes. He's been doing research, trying to harness this power for personal gain. He doesn't understand that this power was given for us, not given to us. It's time for us to put an end to his destructive path. For the good of all people and the sanctity of reverse theology, may Shriver arrest our souls. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci Gucci gang, 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 G